Right, we're going to take a look at how we install Windows 8 Consumer Preview. I'm running Windows 7 here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Windows 7 and I'm going to install Windows 8. Now, this is a bit of a guide. If you've got anything on your Windows 7 that you need, photos and anything like that, back up before you start doing this. Again, this is going to be a guide. I'm going to skip the videos we go through just to save a bit of time. What we need to do is, in your browser, we need to go to windows.microsoft.com and on there you'll see the future of Windows. If we just click on that, it's going to bring up another option up here. We'll click on Learn More. This is going to take us to the Windows 8 Consumer Preview page. And you'll see down here that we get a button that says Get It Now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. And this is going to give us a, a bit of a description of what it is. Put your email address in there if you like and select your country. Um, I'm not going to bother with this at the moment. Uh, this, is a, this is a second install for me. I've already installed it once. And I've, I'm doing this now purely for the video. So there's a couple of ways of doing this, and I'm going to cover a couple of ways of installing this. I'm going to go for a straight over the top of Windows 7 install, and we can also download the ISO image and use that. But for now, we're going to use the web-based install one. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Download Windows 8 Consumer Preview, and we're going to select Run, and Run again, User Account Control, click Yes. Okay, this is going to start up the Consumer Preview. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit different. This is where Microsoft is now going to check the computer that you're trying to install Windows 8 on for compatibility. So we'll just let it run through that. Okay, so once it's checked, it will show you what it's found. So it's found seven of my apps and devices will work. So I can see the full report here. And again, this is a, this is a virtual computer, um, so there's nothing much on it. It's just running Windows 7. So you can see, and you'll also get a list of things that won't work, any software that you've got. Um, so take note of that. So I'm pretty safe here. I can go on to the next section. Okay, so now you're going to be offered a product key. So you want to make a note of that. Okay, so once you've got your product key written down, click on Next. Now this is going to start the download. Now this is where it's going to start to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause the video until this is finished. Okay, so once you've completed your download, you're going to be offered three options. The first one is to install now. The second one is to install to another partition, which I've covered in an earlier video, and we did that with the ISO image and a disk. And the third is we can reinstall later. We can select install later, and come back to this through the Windows install desktop icon there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to install now. So select install now. So Windows is now going to get a few things ready, as it says. I'm going to accept license. Okay, this is where we get an option to save some of our data that's on our existing Windows 7 install. So the first option you'll see that we get to save Windows settings, personal files and apps. The second one, just personal files. That's good if you want to wipe out all your installed programs. And the third option is to keep nothing. I want a clean install, so I'm going to keep nothing. I'm going to select next. So now we're going to get a briefing of what we've selected. So we're going to install Windows 8 Consumer Preview and we're not going to keep anything. So if you're happy with that, click install. If you're not happy with it, you can change your selection. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click install, and now the install is going to continue on. And I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so we're moving on through the install now. The computer is going to restart. Okay, the computer is now going to be prepared to start Windows 8. The sale continues by getting the devices ready to start Windows 8. The computer is going to restart again. Okay, so now that we're going to go through parts of the setup, so it's going to need a few different things from us. Um, computer name to start with. I don't know a computer name. You can change your background colour for your start screen uh, at this point, but we can forget that for now. We can always come back to that. This is the settings for Windows 8. I'm going to use express settings you can have a read through that so it's now going to ask for an email address um, this is where if you've got a Windows Live account or an Xbox Live account or the now called Microsoft account you can put your email address in here and once we've put that in click next Windows 8 is now going to connect to the internet and check that account and any settings that I've got saved on that account if for any reason your computer can't connect to Microsoft you can set up a, a temporary account and click finish you better sign into your Windows account once Windows has started up. So we're now going to prepare the desktop. Okay, so now Windows has finished installing. We're now on the start menu. Now, we had a little bit of trouble connecting to our Windows account at the start, so we'll see whether we can connect now. So all we have to do is go down at the bottom right corner, and you'll see that we get a menu coming up the side there. If we then move our mouse up to the settings, 
and click on settings and then we select more PC settings. We then want to select users and then switch to a Microsoft account. So then we'll enter our email address and Windows will try and connect to our account. It has done. Okay, at this point we must enter some sort of verification information, so I'm going to use my telephone number. And once we've put that in, we'll click next, and there we go, we're now logged in. It's now going to prepare a Microsoft account. As I say, you may or may not have trouble with this. Um, if at the install phase you can't um, connect to your Microsoft account, then this is the easy way to do it after that. And there we go, we're now logged into our Microsoft account. Okay, as you can see, it's now set to my nice purple background. Um, so there we go, that's how we install Windows 8 over another version of Windows. And I'd like to thank you for watching.